How to install aluminum fence. Before installing your aluminum fence, there's a few things you need to do. First, check your local fence codes. Have your utilities marked. Measure and plan the fence area. Clear fence path of any obstructions. Reserve your tool rental if you need to. Buy quickcrete and have it delivered if you need it. Unpack material and take inventory. Next, we're going to cover the tools and materials you will need. First, you're going to need a post hole digger, a shovel, a level, hacksaw, tape measure, electric screwdriver, hammer, string line, wheelbarrow, quickcrete, ground stakes, and gravel. When it comes to digging your holes, there's two options. One is the common post hole digger that you can manually use to dig your holes. It gets the job done, but requires a lot of labor. The second is to go to one of your home improvement or rental locations and rent a gas-powered auger. This will speed up your process and save a lot of manual labor. The first step in assembling your aluminum fence is determining corner and end post locations and running stake and string lines for each run. Determine your corner posts and end post locations then drive stakes into the ground a few feet beyond that point so the string lines can cross making a 90 degree angle. Run a tight string line between the stakes to mark the fence line. The stakes should be tall enough so the string does not touch the ground. The second step of the aluminum fence installation is setting the end, corner, and gate post. Dig your holes at least 6 inches in diameter and 2 feet deep depending on size of post. Scoop loose dirt out of the hole and measure to check depth. If too shallow, keep digging. If too deep, add some loose gravel. Set post and hole and measure to assure proper depth. Another great fence depot installation tip is to utilize a self-tapping screw partially screwed in at the bottom of your fence post. Once in the hole, it will allow the concrete to adhere to it and it will keep your post from being able to be raised during freezing and thawing areas or wet conditions and keep your fence perfectly level. Go ahead and mix your concrete in a wheelbarrow. We only use Quickcrete brand that already has the sand and gravel included. All you need to do is add the water. You will need approximately 60 pounds per post hole depending on the size that you dig and the size of the post ordered. Mix it on the dry side so your post will stand by themselves as it dries. Next, shovel your mixed concrete around your post. Fill to 4 inches below the ground level. Pack the excavated dirt tight around the post. This will help keep your post from moving. Make the, sure the post is plumb against the string line and check for levelness. The next step once you have your corner post installed is to install line post and attach sections. Start at an end, corner, or gate post and dig three holes in the direction of your fence line. Holes should be dug 71 and a quarter inches apart on center for two inch post and six foot wide sections. This number will change if you're using a larger post and or eight foot wide fence sections. The next step is to slide a fence section into the starting end, corner or gate post. Then slide a line post on the opposite side. Then concrete the line post in the ground, following the same steps as before of making sure it's level and plumb with the line. Repeat this procedure down your fence run, installing section, line post, section, line post, don't forget to secure each section with the self-tapping screw provided by the manufacturer. Another helpful hint and tip is to install aluminum fence sections at least two inches off the ground. This will allow you to trim under the bottom of the fence without damage and assure easy lawn maintenance. During most installations, there will be a fence line that will not fit a full section of fence and it will need to be cut. This is a simple task and can be accomplished with a hacksaw. Make sure you measure twice and cut once. A section can always be trimmed down, but cannot be extended to fit. Once you have all your fence panels installed, you will need to install your gates. The gate installation will be covered in the How to Install an Aluminum Gate video. If you have any fence installation questions or just need help choosing the right fence, please call Fence Depot at 1-800-760-5170 or visit us online at fence-depot.com. We make fence shopping easy.